Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a common issue that many drivers face, the PO445 code. This is an OBD to trouble code that indicates a problem with the EVAP evaporative ignition control system, specifically that there's a large leak or the purge valve is stuck open. If you've got this code, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix it step by step. Let's get started. This code is triggered when the engine control module ECM detects that the EVAP system's purge valve is stuck open, causing a large leak. The EVAP system is designed to trap fuel vapors from the fuel tank and prevent them from escaping into the atmosphere. If the system isn't working properly, it can lead to increased emissions and possibly affect your vehicle's performance. There are a few culprits that commonly cause the PO445 code. Let's break them down. Loose or faulty gas cap. This is the most common reason. Make sure your gas cap is clicked shut all the way. Some caps have a rubber seal that can wear out over time. You can try replacing the cap for a few bucks. Evap purge control valve. This valve controls the flow of vapors into the engine. It can get stuck or malfunction. We'll check for functionality later. Evap system leaks, leaks in hoses, the canister, or other parts of the system can trigger the code. These leaks can be trickier to find. Check the gas cap. This is the easiest fix. Tighten it all the way and see if the code goes away after a few drives. If not, move on to step two. Inspect the evap purge control valve optional. The location can vary by car model. Consult your repair manual or a quick web search to find it. With the engine running, carefully place your finger over the vacuum hose connected to the valve. You should feel a slight suction. If not, the valve might be stuck and need replacing. If the simple checks don't solve the problem, you might have a leak in the EVAP system itself. Finding these leaks can be a challenge and may require specialized tools like a smoke machine. In that case, it's best to consult a qualified mechanic. Once you fix the issue, you'll need to clear the code from your car's computer. Some vehicles have a reset button, but usually you'll need a scan tool. You can often borrow one from your local auto parts store. After clearing the code, drive your car for a few days and check if the code comes back. By following these steps, you should be able to diagnose and fix the PO445 code in your car. Remember, start with the simple fixes first. If you're not comfortable with any of these steps, don't hesitate to take your car to a mechanic. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and let us know what video you'd like to see next.